Hello and welcome. My name is Amul and you are watching Tube Mint. In this video, I am going to show you how to install WordPress on Namecheap web hosting using cPanel. So let's get started. This is Namecheap's shared hosting and I'm going to install WordPress using the cPanel. So cPanel is the soft Qlus apps installer that lets you install WordPress, Joomla, Drupal, Magento, whatever you want. So I assume that you already logged into your cPanel and so I'm using this so on the very top you've got soft QLess. at the very bottom you've got the soft QLess section where you can choose specific CMS that you want to install in our case it's WordPress so before we go ahead and install WordPress there are a few things that we want to make sure is in place so very first thing is the version of PHP that you want to use for WordPress so go ahead and say select PHP version and hit on this and here we are going to select PHP 7.3 which is recommended for WordPress as of today it may change in future so go ahead and select there are two more extensions that you want to make sure are enabled on this uh, PHP selector so the very first one is PDO MySQL and then MySQLi okay go ahead and make sure these are connect uh, enabled so you simply have to check this box and it will be enabled automatically in just few seconds once they are set the other thing is you want to make sure that the domain that you want to use is available on this hosting account so if this domain is available on other registrar you definitely want to go ahead and add it to your hosting account so to add a domain we use add on domains so go ahead and look for add-ons add on domains and hit on it now here you have to type in the domain name that you want to add to this hosting account so go ahead and type your domain name with its extension here and then everything will be automatically created for you then you have to hit add domain and on the next page you will see something like so this is just a random domain that I do not own so once you're here just click type in your domain name and it says oops looks like pointed to a remote name server so what we need to do we need to go ahead and verify it okay so go ahead and copy this one complete whole thing within this bracket uh, under um, double quotes copy it and go to your registrar sign in and hit on DNS against your domain name and add a text domain record this is the domain name and this is the type of record that you want to add and this is the value once that's added just come here and click on begin validation or contact support if you have an issue so it's going to take 5 to 10 minutes and once your domain name is added it's going to be available for installing WordPress so now let's go ahead and install WordPress on your specific domain so you can click on this soft Qless apps installer or scroll down and just click on this WordPress so that will take you to the inst direct installation page of WordPress and here you will have to select once again and go to this particular WordPress installation page now here you simply go ahead and view the demo or just click on install now and you can see this will select the most latest version of WordPress whatever it is at the time of installation and Namecheap is also going to pre-select this HTTPS protocol and now you'll have to select the domain name that you want to use for this installation HTTPS is going to be automatically installed by Namecheap it takes 5 to 10 minutes to just configure it and make it available to this specific domain now once that's done go ahead and name your blog or website whatever it is so I'm going to say a job dot org description is must so go ahead and describe if you want to use multi-site using WordPress go ahead and check this box I never suggest using admin as a admin username so go ahead and choose a very unique username and 
make sure it's somewhere saved because what happens people forget sometimes also go ahead and choose a password that must score above 80 80 I'm going to use the default go ahead and type in a working email address that you are going to use for WordPress admin login and resetting password as well all right now let's go ahead and select your language and then if you want to use loganizer like that will limit the login attempts so that's a plugin if you do not like the class the latest editor go ahead and use the old one the classic editor advanced option if you want to just change the name of the database go ahead and change it uh, if you want to alter or edit the okay so it cannot be more than seven character like six character okay perfect you can change the table prefix as well auto upgrade if you want your wordpress to be auto upgraded i would not suggest it but that's totally up to you if you want to upgrade your plugins automatically check this box if your themes needs to be upgraded automatically only do when you're going to use a child theme don't do with the parent theme so leave it uh, then comes the backup location go ahead and select its default is going to be the perfect one go ahead and go with the once a week if you are like two if you're going to post two three posts every week I would go ahead and go with the once a week if I have to post like every other day so the next is select a theme if you're looking for specific theme and that's available over here go ahead and select one but do not waste time over here the theme installation is going to be available in the admin area as well here we are going to use a email address which will be the same as the admin email account so the soft Qless will send you an email of this installation so it's going to send you the details of this installation so you want to make sure your email is working perfectly fine now before you hit install go ahead and recheck everything and then hit install shouldn't take long time you can see it's going to take just 30 seconds maximum and it installs like very quickly so congratulations you've got your wordpress installed on your name chips hosting server now you can go ahead and open it so i'm getting this connection issue the https is still being installed and configured and installed on this domain so i'm going to use a different browser firefox oops what was that i mistyped it so go ahead and launch your firefox browser and this is going to launch hopefully this ajob.org my wordpress installation and here we have wordpress tw with 2020 theme and that's how you install wordpress on name cheap's hosting server we will go ahead and log into the admin area and i'll quickly go ahead and show you how you can do things with wordpress so go ahead and cl click on login or go to your domain name slash wp login wp hyphen login oh i've got a different name i guess so i've got a job admin never go with just admin as an admin username and then i'm going to use the default password generated by the soft Qless. and here we are alrighty so that's basically wordpress dashboard area you can go ahead and change your theme so go to appearance and themes and there are thousands of themes available just click on hit uh, add new and look for a theme that is going to be suitable for your business your blog whatever you want to do to install plugins go ahead and click on plugins and hit add new and go ahead and look for the plugins that you think is going to be specific to your business or whatever you want to do a uh, few things here go under settings uh, sorry settings and change the permalink to post name and hit save uh, writing check if, if everything is all right go ahead and change this to whatever you want I go with summary and discourage search engines while you are just 
customizing your theme once your theme is ready go ahead and uncheck it and save it all right guys so this is how you can create a post just go to new and hit on post you will be able to write a post you can select your category create a category add a featured image excerpt post attribute default template all right so this is how you basically install wordpress on namecheap's hosting server and this is how you manage your wordpress this was very quick so that's it for this video and if you have any questions suggestion please leave in the comment if you need any help with wordpress installation like you need some answers go ahead and put your question in the comment i will try to answer it asap thank you so much for watching this video please like share and subscribe to my channel have a good day bye for now